should have seen their face when your ass walked in. <laughs> Thought that shit was so funny. Your ass ain't tell him I was coming. Nigga, cause it was. <laughs> like I know I ain't tell him, but you gotta admit, you had a good time. Yeah, it was cool. Shit. It was good seeing Leah too. Yeah, I ain't about to get into our soft shit. But before I forget, get too late. I need you to remind me that I need you to slide out with me to Ben Hill's spot the girl. Still ain't happy. Nigga keeps sending quail every time he asks for the rest. You're gonna have to take care of that nigga. Yeah, pronto. Shit, just come scoop me. We handle that. All right, bet. Are we still good for that other shit? Talking about that, uh, that boat and crest play? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I told you I'm with it. So, I need this shit clean. That mean you can't hire none of your stupid ass friends to do it. Nigga, my shit always clean, man. The only problem is getting that nigga away from his people. I ain't worried about that shit. I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna tap your mind, make sure I send you the details. You gonna know exactly when to move. Alright. So, uh, this shit should, uh, get us out for good, right? <laughs> get us out for good? Nigga, who the fuck can say I wanna get out the game? Who the say I don't like the life that this game fucking provides for me? Look, nigga. I don't know what you're thinking about, but this game was never meant to be long term, bro. All right? You get in, get what you need, then you get out. You remember what I told you? Game don't got a 401k, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, a silver, silver casket, casket, nigga. Yeah. Same story, nigga. I know. I know. I ain't trying to be no senior citizen pushing keys, but nigga, I'm going to need me something nice tucked away if I'm a fucking bow out. And right now, G, this ain't it. So you mean to tell me? A couple hundred thousand ain't enough for you to tap out. <sighs> nigga, is you high? Nigga, the game can be over anytime. I ain't playing Russian roulette this shit no more, man. I'm out, bro. A couple hundred thousand is nice. But I need a couple meal if I'm gonna tap out, my nigga. It's your problem, nigga. You greedy. <sighs> Look, this one lit. We need a couple more like this if we're gonna feed the fucking squad. A couple more moves like this, we're gonna be set for life, G. It's the same shit you said about that snake shit. Nigga, this shit different. We was young and stupid then. We ain't had shit figured out. But we know the game now. Huh? Nigga, we is the game. This shit, strategically planned. Strategic. You heard me. Like that bughead and shit, huh? Nigga, you act like you don't like money or some shit. Y'all took Nico shit and what? The pockets got fatter too, didn't they? Nigga, it's always another lick with you, bruh. I ain't trying to fuck up what we got going on. Fuck up what we got going? Nigga, I ain't no motherfucking worker. I'm tired of answering the gauge in this dumbass little brother, nigga. If I see an opportunity for us to get further, I'm gonna take that shit. I'm a boss. And last I remember, my little somethings is keeping your ass fed. Bro, you ain't doing this shit solo, bro. Don't act like I ain't out here holding my own. Look, I ain't saying it like that. But ain't you tired of fucking Pedro? Yeah. The motherfucker has been talking reckless, bro. Just act like he top dog and shit. Knowing damn well he eating off gauge ass. That's what the fuck I'm saying. He wanted to be who the fuck he is if he was really out here in the field. Okay. So what happens when this shit go left? Hmm? <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You act like you scared. Nigga, you know I got your back through whatever, bro. But you act like you invincible. <laughs> as long as I stay ahead of my competition, I am. So is you in or is you out? Or do I gotta go find a nigga on the street to help get rich? Nigga, you know I got you, man. I'll be the... Say less there, nigga. I'll tap your line in a minute. Ugh. About to go out less if I need them. All right, bro. Oh, hey, hey, real quick. Um, did Leah say something about me? 
See, that's your motherfucking problem right there. My cousin got your head fucked up, nigga. No, she ain't tell me shit. It wasn't even like that, bro. I was just asking. Yeah, yeah whatever, nigga. I'll call your ass later, love boy. She was thinking about me. What if we lose this baby? Baby, you have got to have faith. You cannot keep putting negativity in this world and expect to receive blessings. This is our third time. I don't want this to be a failure. So we might need to strongly consider adoption or even a surrogate. Baby, I know this has been tough on the both of us, but we not giving up. Ish, you're not the one who has to keep carrying and losing these babies. I am. And it's taking its toll on me. It's taking the toll on me too. That's why this time it's gonna work. We have got to stop stressing. Come here. We got this, baby. I don't know how you can have so much faith during times like this. Faith is all I have. And you said faith is the size of a mustard seed. Oh, I have faith the size of this globe. But it still doesn't stop me from miscarrying. And it doesn't prevent the pain. I don't know what else to do, but giving up is not in my blood. And the person I married, she's not a quitter. She gets what she wants in this world. That's why it's kind of hard for me to accept what you're talking about right now. Truth of the matter is, I want this baby. Even though I never wanted kids before, it's just unbearable. God give his battles to his strongest soldiers. Baby, I ain't his strongest soldier. I don't want to be. Let me be the weakest soldier just for a little bit. They got to have it easier than this. Bree, you're one of the strongest people I know. You hear me? The strongest. And we've been through a lot. But God going to get us through it. Now wipe your tears. Now let's go check on this baby. from wine? Oh my gosh. I'm quite sure you have a damn hangover. You damn near finished three bottles of wine by your damn self. Girl, I don't even remember half of last night. I don't even know what the hell I was thinking. Wait, no, what got me was, you <clears> said <throat> you don't wanna hear none of that cock talk. Because you and Bree be acting like y'all wanna hear that shit. And I know y'all don't. If I look at y'all face, I know you don't wanna hear that shit. I mean, Talk and keep the peace. Girl, how are we doing this today? You can keep it curly. My girl don't like it when it's too straight. Okay, well, girl, forget her. You do it how you want to do it. It's your hair. Mm-mm. I'm on with Leah on, baby. <laughs> Keeping the peace. <laughs> she ain't listening, though. I mean, it's not like it's going to cause a problem. She's just going to be on me like I be wanting her to. <laughs> she ain't feeling her style. But when Smiley smiles at me, baby, I know she be ready to take me down. You hear me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I understand that. Well, but... since you say it like that, I mean, <laughs> let's make sure she on your heels tonight. That part. That part. <laughs> I mean, I understand that. I mean, because when Tanya wears something, I don't like, I just dry up. Okay, not too much. <laughs> Calm the little kitty cat down. See, I'm different. My girl can have on a white beater and some basketball shorts, and baby, <laughs> I be hot and ready. Yes. <laughs> girl, look at this. What? Girl, Portia Williams trifling ass. 
over there with that African man who married to her friend. The ink ain't even dry on divorce papers yet. See, now that's trifling. <laughs> trifling as hell. You just don't do that to your friend. <laughs> Girl, I can never be that trifling. These hoes out here grimy as hell. What they all say, they ain't seen shit, they ain't heard shit. Did you press them? That's our jobs, ain't it? How come every time when you're supposed to go and try to find witnesses, nobody ever wants to talk to you, but has all the answers for me? Shit. I don't know, nigga. Maybe got a friendly face. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. Really face my ass. Man, whatever. But check this. I talked to the apartment, talked to the lady in apartment 4C. I heard she got some information for us. I left him a card. What stopped her from talking? Some dude, maybe her nephew or son, kept interrupting the shit, trying to talk over her. And when that didn't work, he started acting like he was lawyer. You know how these Gen Z kids get. They want to ask about warrants and shit. Rookie shit. And there's ways around that. And you know it. He probably doesn't want her involved in whatever is going on. But we'll circle back around to her later, no problem. Because I'm going to have to school your ass today. Nigga, this ain't no training day. Yes, it is. And King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> nah, but for real. For real, somebody has to know something. Well, since you said that, let's head back to the station. Let's run the information through the domestic database. Now you thinking, rookie. Because if somebody put holes and you and your partner were in the middle of fucking, they really wanted you dead and couldn't wait. Maybe some ex-lover, ex-boyfriend caught the fuck or something. Could be. Mm, I wouldn't rule it out, but my gut is telling me it's something deeper. B, think about the point of entry and the evidence outside the bedroom. There wasn't any, and the rest of the scene looked untouched. Exactly. A little too clean for a random act of jealousy. Mm. Take you on a date. Girl, never. Ooh, someone got a secret admirer. Girl, what you talking about? Look, someone left you a note. Who you been putting it on like that? Girl, I have no clue, but that's weird. Uh uh, you know you like that weird shit. Girl, you know I don't be on these hoes like that. Someone been on you like that. And that's their problem. When have you ever known me to not mean what I say and say what I mean? I hear you. Let me see this. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, ball that damn girl drinks up. Ruthless. Anyways, what time you come to my house? Girl, I'm gonna go home and take a shower and get back to man. I'll be at the first. All right, bitch. Love you. See you in a few. Z, that's that weird shit. Ass niggas ain't got brain matter underneath my fucking fingernails and shit, man. Fuck! <laughs> oh, shit. Guess you pussies finally decided to show up. Bro, we was coming to handle that shit, man. What the fuck is you doing? Man, shut your bitch ass up. 
<clears throat> I already took care of it. Say, Pedro, man, you ain't finna be talking like that, man. I'm a grown ass man. I don't believe I stuttered, motherfucker. And Pedro, what the fuck is you on, man? Like, we was about to come take care of that shit. Shut the fuck up! You better be lucky to call for them and not for y'all. Back the fuck up. y'all breath so either. Back the fuck up. I mean, I'm just saying, y'all could've did that shit anywhere else. Why the fuck you do it here? <laughs> I do whatever the fuck I feel like it, bitch. Are you questioning me, nigga? Like I fucking thought! You answer to me! <laughs> I don't answer to you scary ass niggas. And I need you to remember that. Look, bro, we ain't even come at you like that, man, alright? Gage told us to come collect and check him, man. Damn. But shit, he ain't heavy. So what the fuck you was gonna do? Keep letting him make payment arrangements on dope? Huh? Look, a dead man huh? can't make payments, nigga. And Gage always said don't get blood on the dope, nigga. <laughs> but I guess you too, weak ass nigga, got some cleaning up to do. Bitch. <laughs> hurry the fuck up. Get to it, you hear me? Hey. And maybe y'all can use our tampon to patch up some of them holes. Whole ass niggas. And remember. Your positions. Pussies. <laughs> Let me get out of this bit, man, before we gotta set it off in this mother. Hey, what's up? Woody. Woody. Hi. Hi. Hi.